Hello everybody, welcome to Visit File Coast. This is a little bit more of a serious video this morning. I've come down onto Cleveland's Beach to do some other work and I'm stood right at the end of one of the rock groins. There's some rain forecast for later today, um, but nonetheless it's lovely on the beach at the minute. But while I'm here, I just want to talk to you about sandbanks and beach safety. This is being videoed in August 2020 and you probably know that two young lads got drowned off St Anne's at the weekend. I don't know how they got into difficulty, I don't know what they were doing in the sea, I just know that sadly they came to the seaside to enjoy themselves and they didn't go back home. And it's so, so important that when you come to a beach, you make sure that you're looking after yourself and your family and you're keeping safe. It looks an innocent, totally harmless environment, but please, please, it's not. You need to be careful. So I'm just going to show you why, because currently the tide is coming in. Low tide was half past six this morning. High tide's about 12 o'clock. So where I'm stood at the moment, I'm at the end of this rock groin and you can see that there's a big pool of water where the sea has carved the beach out. But you can also see as well that there's a channel that's going round the back of this bank of sand. Can you see it? Now that will go up to that next groin and wherever else it goes. The sea is coming in here. So what people do is they sit on the beach where these seagulls are and they sit facing that way and they're looking at the view and oh my what a beautiful day it is. It's such a lovely lovely day, we're at the seaside, we've not got a care in the world. And then round the back of them the water is coming in and it's cutting a channel at the back and it's cutting them off. And at the moment, we're on the nearest piece of beach to the shore. So this is not as bad here. But there is another sandbank here at Cleveland, very similar to this. So you get a high crest of sand. And then when that comes in, it's going to come up to the groin. And then it's going to fill this channel here. And it will have already done that round another sandbank that's just offshore, just off... The, the sea and when you're a bit higher up you can see that the sea is different shades of greeny blue where it looks a darker grey it's because the water's deeper and where it looks really beautiful turquoise coloured that's because there's a sandbank underneath the water and the water's not as deep so the, the sun's going through it further I'm no, I'm no expert on beach safety I just live at the coast I see people constantly getting cut off and these sandbanks can be lethal. I mean this one at the moment looks, well it looks tame but honestly there can be anything from a few inches to four or five foot deep at various times of the year. The beach changes every day, every day the sand's in a, a different place, the banks are in a different place. Please just take care. Please share this video with anybody and everybody that you know. If you do see somebody, I mean you can see, I'm stood next to the ogre here, and you can see there's a line about halfway up the revetment where it changes colour and it's darker. That's where the water comes to. And look how deep it is, look how high those people are that are walking on the prom. If you're on this beach and the tide comes in and you get cut off, it's deep. It's deep and it's dangerous. If you see somebody in trouble, dial 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. Don't try to rescue anybody. Please don't. All we want is people to come to the coast, have a lovely day out, enjoy the cells, go home with a smile on the face and ideally a bit of a suntan. We do not want anybody going home in a box. So that's your public safety message for today from Visit File Coast. So you'll take care, don't forget, have a lovely time, 
always keep your eye on the water. See you next time. Bye.